Okay, due to the uh, signal in the airport, I just got to post a video on TPCS. Uh, as I told y'all, pay attention to my work. I told you if this deal got uh, canceled, this acquisition got canceled, I'd be an immediate buyer. That's exactly what's happened. And then I became an immediate buyer. I've been buying the stock all day. All right, let me walk you through the numbers so you understand why. We got a $36 million market cap, $43 million enterprise value, okay? As part of the breakup, they put out a, uh, a presentation that we haven't gotten from these guys before, all right? So they're gonna have to answer for that, but the presentation's amazing, all right? The forecast, they put financial forecasts in there, details about their customers. This is a business that is doing everything that I said it was before they made this decision to try to acquire this company, which I said was stupid, which I said wasn't gonna work, it didn't work, but now it's over. And we're back to being that same company that I believed in before. Yes, management is horrible, but they can't, they can't um, do anything to hurt this company because they have so orders that are short from the government. And that's what you see in that presentation. We'll go over it on Friday, but bottom line is, they're gonna, they're gonna put up, um, according to their numbers, uh, what was the numbers in there? I think it was nine million, hold on a second. I don't have my laptop open right now. Yeah, I think it was nine million dollars of EBITDA for this, the next 12 months. They said fiscal 25, that ends in March coming up. That's not next calendar year. That's this fiscal year that ends in March, 2025. $9 million of EBITDA and growing from there at a rate of 23% annually, okay? A company like that should get a multiple of like, I'd say 15 on that. A 15 multiple on $9 million is $135 million market cap. That's triple where the stock was trading at when I looked at the, the $36 million market cap, $43 million enterprise value, okay? So bottom line, my risk reward chart is still exactly like, I'm not changing the risk reward chart in terms of where this, this stock should be. The stock should be at like nine or $10 right now. That's why the stock's moving the way it is. That's why I've been buying the stock all day because we've got this overhang of this acquisition out of the way and now it's just the company, which I already knew, right? I've known the company for a long time. Now we're back to that, okay? And because of uh, how badly they handled this, don't be surprised if there's a shakeup in the management or board level by activist investors. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but I'd be shocked if it doesn't. Somebody has to pay for the stupidity that they put us through, right? But the bottom line is, this is the same company that it was before this BS started, and in fact, it's in better shape. They just had a great quarter of bookings. They just gave us a presentation with all of their prospects, their forecast, all that stuff. This company is worth more now, in my opinion, than what it was before this deal started. That's the bottom line, and it's just logic. And I've walked you through that with multiple stocks. You saw VTSI, what happened with that one. You saw EVLV, what's happened with that one. And you see with TPCS, what's starting to happen here. I expect EVLV to go to eight bucks. I expected uh, VTSI to go over eight bucks. It did, it went straight all the way to 17. This one, same deal, all right? TPCS needs to be somewhere closer to $10 than where it is right now. And you guys are hearing it here first. We'll talk about it more on Friday, all right? Money Mark, I'll catch y'all later, Friday at two on my YouTube channel. Take care.